Maggie Kozuc is one of volleyball's truly special opposite hitters. A Champions League winner, she's been crowned Germany's Sportswoman of the Year and been German Player of the Year five years in a row. She's now partnering Laura Ludwig on the beach and they stormed to victory at the World Tour Finals in Rome 2019. But now, like the rest of us, she's at home and she's staying safe. So I call to check in and see how she's passing the time. Maggie, hello. Hi, how are you? I am incredibly well. I'm at home and I'm bored, but the sun's shining. Uh, so I'm after a little bit of positivity and I think you are just the person to give it to me. But most importantly, I want to check you're doing okay. So are you doing okay? <laughs> I do actually. The sun is shining here as well. You're the first person today that I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm happy to see you. Yeah, I am very, very happy to talk to you too. Um, so right, lockdown, how is it treating you? Where in the world are you? Who are you with? And, and what are you up to every day? Um, yeah, so <laughs> actually, I, I don't feel bored at all. But I actually don't know any like, I, I, I don't know me being bored like ever, like in any situation. And I'm not judging it if it's good or bad. It's just how it is. I don't know, somehow it just happens. Um, I'm in Hamburg right now in Germany um, and I'm doing things that are probably like for me it looks uh, it's like normal for an athlete. I try to work out um, every day. I do some mobilization and some um, exercises every day. I just, uh, I just finished my workout today before you called me. So um, yeah, I made like an hour of a little bit more an hour of, uh, of workout and um, yeah, later I will I will go to for a walk in the in the sun and breathing some nice fresh air, which is beautiful. I like it, and then cooking, talking to friends, um, meditating, making yoga, listening to music. I try to play the guitar, but I'm not playing the guitar. It's just like fun to do that. <laughs> so yeah, not really. Like I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what. Hang on. <laughs> I will oh, if you will. Oh, seriously. I okay. will if you, yeah, yeah, I didn't think it'd take long. <laughs> okay, I will show you, at least it looks good. I like it, but okay, you could be, you could be my, my teacher, my guitar teacher. I'm, I'm really, I just like it. I just like it, music and instruments, and so I have it here, and sometimes I just, yeah. I tell you what then, how about, how about we do a little bit of a skill swap and you teach me a little bit of yoga and I teach you a little bit of guitar, deal? Okay, okay. Okay, let's, uh, I've made a right, but play me, play me something then. I can't believe okay, we've got, so you know I can't believe I mean. we've got here already. Yeah, play okay. me something. Okay, it's right. I'm just going to put this over here now because it sounds like you could also teach me guitar as well as yoga. Oh, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> it sounds like your days are actually really lovely, though. You're, you're, you're filling them. How are they different to what they would be if you were essentially planning for the season now? Because obviously that's been put on hold. Yeah, OK. So... Um... For sure, it, like a lot of things changed, a lot of things we actually do not know. We don't know what is happening, but my philosophy of life in general is like that I don't really know what happens in the next hour. I try to, to stay present. I, start, I, I try to, to live the moment most uh, as possible. And um, yeah, of course, there are plans that we, that we did that also in sport it's normal to do. We, we we practice for it, we work out for it to also have a peak during tournaments that are important. Um, so this is the whole program, of course. But in general, it's not that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think nothing uh, has a guarantee in life. So it's not, um, it's nothing that I say, oh, everything was for nothing and I'm regretting or so on because everything what I did, I did 100% with my heart. So it's nothing that I would, would have made differently and um yeah it's interesting to also be there's a lot of space now also in place to um to be aware to 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 like possibility to to grow in awareness um and it's interesting observing 
like myself, when I'm observing myself, what this situation is doing to me, what this situation is doing to us in, in a team, what the situation is doing to us in this whole community, in the collective um, consciousness. So this is quite a thing that I think it looks like nothing is happening, but for me, like a lot is happening, like really a lot is happening, yeah. Just listening to you talk about it, I can tell that you, that you think a lot, but you also take a, a, lot of, a lot of responsibility for that as well. Do you reckon that's one of the reasons why you're doing so well on the beach? Because obviously you did incredibly well playing indoor volleyball, but then beach volleyball, but as a pro beach player, you do have to take a lot more responsibility for yourself and your team and your performances. Do, do you think that's one of the reasons why you're really thriving and maybe one of the reasons why you made the transfer in the first place? Yeah, actually, yes. Um, yes, I actually did it because of this, I think. It's, you're the first one telling me, like giving me the answer in your question already. <laughs> because <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> very mindful <laughs> um yeah because it was it was kind of a hard decision and uh, like not hard but hard my hard decision yeah. but without even knowing what is really expecting me i just felt somehow it's it's just pulling me into this direction i had a contract actually i signed or i almost signed in china indoor but then the, the team didn't um didn't sign in like so the team wasn't existing yeah. at all and so like all the circumstances just somehow built up in the direction that I um, I wasn't under contract the moment um, they asked me to come and play beach volleyball and so I was just somehow trying to observe and to be aware of what was happening during the last month also because it was also the first summer I didn't go to national team um, so I was there, I was doing a lot of yoga also. So I was reflecting and somehow it felt like, okay, something is, um, is waiting there for me. I always loved uh, challenges. I actually, human beings in general, they, I, I, I observe that a lot don't, like many don't like changes, mm. but I actually always loved them. Um, because this is something that it's just like we we have this saying. I don't know if you have this saying in, in English, but we have this saying in, in in Germany like to jump into cold water. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you say it in English. So, um, yeah, yeah, you don't know what is happening, but it's it's doing a lot to you. And I just felt okay. I want to do this, and this is pulling me for something that I don't really know. But yeah, being now that I did it for some years. Um, I have to say that it's, it has a lot to do with self-responsibility. Let's have a chat about your team then, because you mentioned them. Obviously, the team now is much smaller than it was when you were, when you were playing in Champions League and the National Indoor Germany team. Uh, what's the kind of dynamic? Because it seems to be going in, in one direction, and it's, it's that one. Um, yeah, thank you very much, first of all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's for sure it's a, it's a huge process because during this uh, during last season when I, um, when I started to, to play with Laura, mm. which is like the best, uh, the best uh, beach volleyball um, uh, player on, in, on her position on the world, I can say, hopefully. <laughs> I, I think so. <laughs> so also um, playing on her side and she after pregnancy with like being a mom, also this brings a lot of different dynamics and a lot of like such a different situation to the whole planning and organization for sure. So everything is different. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's not, a, not possible at all to compare to anything what was before. And um, so to just somehow make um, two, two people, two persons that are somehow I'm new in, in, in all this. I mean, in the team that was working with her already the years before I knew I'm also kind still kind of new in the sport with her being super like full of experience, but with me on her side and doing everything in like some month plus being a mom coming back physically also like it's, um, yeah, it's something that I think it's like, it was new for all of us. So we had to find um, our game. We had to find our us in practice, who we are, how we react when we are under pressure and so on. So um, actually I have to say that during practice last year, when we practiced like three months, it was yeah. going like this. Then we came to 
the season to compete. And there is, of course, we, we knew that we have to be patient, but we had, that we had to be so, for so long time patient. <laughs> it was something that we actually didn't expect because we knew like which kind of potential we, we have because we have shown this already in practice, but now showing it in the competition, somehow it was, it was difficult. It was like we were struggling, we were going this way. And then at the end, somehow for me, it started in Vienna, the tournament in Vienna. We, we were still um, trying to adapt, trying to inform, trying to talk a lot, a lot of communication um, in practice to be even more, more and more focused because it's sometimes it's not being more focused on on the amount of focus but just to focus on the on the thing that we need to focus on and let go on other things that we don't i'm just looking because there's a kind of like big um big bird and i love like eagles so I'm just okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i see many right now here because i, I don't know um many animals are are here this year anyway so, um, because the people are all at home, so the animals come in out. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if this news made it to uh, to Germany, but in Wales, where I'm from, so the small country next to England, uh, some of the goats have come down the mountains and started to eat the grass in the town because they've been allowed to, because there have been no oh, humans really? sort of pushing oh, them back. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. I also saw many like videos of friends and so on, like on, on Instagram and Facebook, like really wonderful, really nice. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you a video now and oh. <laughs> I want you to just tell me what it reminds you of, how it makes you feel, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your memories of that yeah wow i can i can look at this forever actually so much is happening in this moment so um for sure like my heart is like uh, i feel like a lot of warm here and i'm just yeah it's just uh, beautiful and um what you can see there is also you know you see this was something that i always was um you say admiring i think um on laura that she um it doesn't matter she 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 won everything and still she is there to always also somehow um, put herself out of her comfort zone and to know I am this I am this now here in presence and I want to give everything now and this what she did is somehow in this moment not counting so it's yeah. what she's like and this is something that I was like it's so beautiful it's so beautiful because um, you know uh, who 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 wouldn't be like who wouldn't be allowed to if not her to just go around and say like I'm the best and I'm yeah. just you know, and she's still, she's just like living the sport, of course, with, with love. And also she's like a hard worker in every, like every day in practice. And you can see there how also she felt um, like hugging me and talking to me with this, with this smile on her face, with this, uh, with this happiness that she's just with this joy. She's just like, I see so much joy in her eyes and everything that, she's also happy and proud that we made it but i feel also how happy she is for me in this moment and this is something that is really fulfilling me and um yeah it's beautiful and i'm very thankful for this it sounds like you still love it now as much or more as you did when you were a child or a teenager or at any stage in your career yes is it <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it just sounds like it just sounds like you completely love what you do. And it's it's amazing to hear. Um, let's talk about let's talk about ambitions then, because, you know, you've achieved so much in the game. But, you know, we know that the Olympics have been given a date now in 2021. 
is that on your radar? Has that changed your plans? Okay, so um, yeah, of course it was doing something to me, but um, because uh, more because I was, um, you know, I, I'm also traveling a lot and I have also, um, my boyfriend, he lives in, in Italy and we are together for many years. Mm -hmm. And and actually, um, it was somehow a commitment that I I gave to our relationship, but we also gave to us because we are supporting each other a lot, like really a lot for following our dreams, for what we love. And um, this, we give a lot of freedom and a lot of place to 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 do that and to live this, which is really beautiful. Um, and inside of me. Um, I was somehow okay committing also okay after this year I will give some space to my relationship well, maybe we have time to travel to just have some time to be together so actually this was the thing that I was I was like oh wow it's another year and it's not so much because it, it time runs but it's just like this deep commitment that that I just like also um, somehow approach the last years you know so uh, I, I needed some some days and I needed also some yes yeah, some phone calls because at the end we are not able to to see each other uh, which makes it even more difficult because we haven't seen each other for for a long time and find then a fundamental um, conversation in this moment is difficult because of course you're kind of um, in a lack somehow of the relationship, like you're, you're missing each other. Yeah. Um, so I needed some, some, some time to, to, to just like, I don't know, to let like everything go down and to see what is happening inside of me. And then, um, then at the end, I, I just felt, yeah, I want to, like, I want to do, I want to do this 2021, mm -hmm. even though, and this is the thing that I was talking also before and there, you see how everything is connected. We don't know what will happen. And, <laughs> but um, yeah, but I, I love what I'm doing. I love what I'm, I'm very grateful for what we did together also with the team, with the coaches, with, uh, with our sponsors, with, the men, like with everybody that was involved, with the friends, with the family, that everybody is there to support. And I just feel that this is, um, the project is, is, is of all of them, you know, somehow. And, um, at the end, yeah, I'm very happy to, to, to still also, it's a positive thing to still have more time to practice, to, um, have more experience together and so on without knowing what will happen anyway. I'd like to play a quick game. Can we do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This, this game is called simply the best. So I'm going to ask you, um, for example, this isn't one of the questions, but what's the best ice cream? And you just have to give me the first answer that pops into your head, okay? Liquids. <laughs> All right then, let's play simply the best. The best player you've ever played against. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The best player, I don't know, it's difficult. I, I cannot, I really like, it's terrible. This game with me is terrible because I start to reflect and to think and it's not. I can tell, I really can tell. I, uh, because it's like all, it's, it's also like every player has like their own personality and nobody can be as the other person, you know? So they're like, I cannot even compare who is the best or not. It depends also what you're looking at, you know? I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, really? best yeah. sport outside volleyball. Best sport? The best sport apart from volleyball. <laughs> Beach volleyball. <laughs> okay, uh, the best song to listen to before a game. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know the name. Sing it, play it on guitar. <laughs> 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 Okay, I just tell you the the direction. Like I like to um, listen to. It depends on my on my um, on my mood, but I like to listen to hip hop and R R B and B. Um, yeah. But I also like, and it depends on my mood how I feel. I like also kind of meditation songs. Yeah. Best moment of your career. Um, which career? All right. Best beach moment. Best indoor moment. 
Okay, best uh, best beach moment. I um, definitely would say Rome last year, and winning the the finals and um, the Champions League uh, indoor game with the with Pomica San Maggiore when we won against against Vakif Bank. But at the end, I have to say again, it's not about that we won, but it's about the story that is behind it. The best food to eat after a game. Uh, a bar, a healthy vegan, vegan bar. <laughs> the best thing about being a professional athlete? Um, knowing, knowing myself all the time um, on, um, like on very intense moments, so always reaching the limit and being aware of what is happening to me. And this is, I think, the most beautiful thing. Yeah. The best place in the world that volleyball's taken you? Um, South Africa. Uh, best beach in the world? Best beach in the world, I, I tell you, South Africa. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, that was the game. Thank you very much for playing. Um, I hate this game. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. No, but I'm saying it lovely, but it's just like so difficult with me. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned the Champions League there. So I'd like to show you another video, please. Uh, tell me your memories of this. <laughs> the Champions League's most spectacular player that season. Uh, and for a lot of people, they'd have thought, oh, this is, this is the launch pad now. But then you decided that you were going to move away from indoor volleyball altogether. But winning that Champions League, getting that award, how do you remember it? Um, yeah, what I remember, I remember the team. I actually remember the team. It's, um, it's very... Very special because uh, everybody thought that we will play the Champions League finals and we will just play for playing, uh, being the, making the fourth place, probably not winning at all. Um, but once I started to play, especially this, the final, I had um, goosebumps everywhere. Yeah, and it was just the first ball that was in the air. So I didn't know it was 0-0. And in the beginning, it was also like, you know, we finished also 25-23, 25-23. So it's not like set like this. But I, I was, I knew that we already won. It, it was wow. crazy. It was 0-0 and I felt we won. And this is something that is so, like, it's so beyond because I just felt this, I felt this energy. I felt this, the team, I felt the players that I played with, like incredible personalities also out of the court. Um, I'm very grateful for having that. We, we were a team with many leaders also, mm. which is sometimes difficult to put like everything together. But somehow we had this openness and this love um, in, inside of us that we were playing with it and support, supported by this audience, by the sponsors and by the teams, the president that was there of like collecting bolts for us all the time and practice and so on and so it was like a whole like big family our families came the whole city was pink because our <laughs> our color was pink so the whole city was pink wherever you went so also the bakeries were making bread that was pink because they mixed some some fruit into it like it was crazy it was something that yeah you cannot like you cannot even believe bicycles all like colored pink and like so many like it was beautiful it was really beautiful and so this is what i see when i see this and this is what it's just like yeah it's, it's still uplifting me somehow it's um i'm still feeling this when i'm when i'm watching and i think that i will feel this moments forever i will i will really feel this moments forever and i called you today because i was feeling a little bit bored and i was looking for positivity and it's like you've injected it straight into me um, i feel amazing thank you so much um, <laughs> and, you. and you're doing okay you're feeling pretty pretty optimistic about the future right yeah i do i do Fantastic stuff. Um, right, let's go and enjoy the sunshine from a safe distance, shall we? Yeah. Look after yourself. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Maggie.
what a joy she is. Hopefully it came across exactly how much that conversation cheered me up. Hopefully it cheered you up too. She is just full of positivity and energy. Um, yeah, just a, a really, really good person. Also, make sure you keep your eye on the CEB social channels because we've got a great story about the time she won the Champions League and she shared one of her special skills with us too. Stay over there as well, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, because there's still loads of things happening. The CEV are helping us all pass the time until we get back out there on the court, players and fans alike. Hope you're all still staying home and staying safe. As you can see, I am. This is the kitchen where I stay fed and nourished. A little bit too fed. All of the naughty treats live in that cupboard there, but that's a story for another time. Thank you very much for getting in touch. I love hearing from you. I've met so many great volleyball people in the last couple of weeks. So drop by to say hello and don't forget to let me know who you want to see or hear from on the next Unscripted. And keep your eye out for some other projects too. The debate is coming up soon. And for those of you who love getting into the nitty gritty of volleyball, that is something that you don't want to miss. But until next time, stay home, stay safe, look after yourself. <laughs>